Okay, so a quick review of the uh, Tamiya polishing compound and uh, cloths that, that come with them. Now this is a little set that I've recently bought because I've got a couple of models that have got really bad canopies on them. And I've sent them back and I've had them back again and they're still just as bad. Now I've got these to try and you can only go so far with your, um, with your polishers and things like that. Um, they'll only do so much, okay? Um, so I was hoping that you know, something like uh, these will go a little bit further than the ultimate um, sanders and everything, or any other sanding system, really, for that matter. So I thought I'll, I'll take the plunge, and I thought I'll buy the whole lot and see uh, see how they work. Now, I haven't tried them yet. I've tried them on a bit of clear plastic that um, I had laying around an old canopy and everything, and they really, really do work. Um, but, uh, I mean, basically, you buy the three compounds. You can buy these all together. With Most sites would sell these all together and you can get the cloths as well. Uh, now the, the cloths, we'll do the cloths first, they come in, um, these are microfiber cloths and they are very, very, very soft and smooth. Uh, they are really, really nice. Um, now, you know, they come in three different colors. You've got a pink, a blue and a white. And of course, your compounds come in three different colors as well. You've got the blue, which is the fine, the coarse is the red, and the finish, which is the white. So you can uh, you can say, well, okay, well, I have the blue cloth for the fine, pink for the coarse, and white for the finish. Now, all the cloths are exactly the same. They're not different coarsenesses or textures or anything like that. They're all exactly the same. So what you can do, you can then have a, take out your polishing compounds. Um, now, the caps, they've got pierced caps, as you can see here, okay? Um, and literally, you just pierce the... Uh, fine there and uh, away they go. Uh, now the fine one I haven't used, I used the coarse and the finish uh, just to have a look to see what it came out like and they were really really nice as I say they're all different colour tops so you can't mix them up as well and as I say you know that would, you'd, those two you'd keep together and so on and so forth. I've got some little baggies that I'm going to put them in so I don't get them mixed up. Um, the good thing is the quizzes of the colours it's very hard to do anyway. Uh, the price of these have all, obviously already flashed up uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find anywhere that sold a set of these, uh, of the actual compounds themselves, and a set of the cloths on top of that as well. So I had to go to one place for the cloths and, and one place for the compounds, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, for the price, I think, uh, if obviously when you're doing an aircraft, uh, the cockpit is probably one of the most important parts of, of the build because... Um, that's where everyone's eyes are naturally drawn to it because it's you know something to see through the cockpit itself That's why a lot of models spend a, a great deal of time on the cockpit and the, and the glass itself So if you've got a really nice cockpit and your glass isn't particularly that good Then that will really show that up and it won't look um, as nice as it could do So I think these are definitely a worthwhile investment I think it's one of those things that you know if you had the money Get everything uh, like this if you felt a little bit pushed for money then I would say take out the um, take out the fine and just have the course and the finish okay um, I mean I, I did okay with those two I mean this is obviously a complete system and uh, they're made to be like that but if you really had to you wouldn't need the fine if you just didn't want to spend you know all that money on everything the cloths aren't a necessity uh, you can use normal microfiber cloths or any really nice polishing uh, as long as it doesn't it's a lint free one and it doesn't leave bits and bobs all over your your paste because otherwise they're just going to be stuck on your screen and you've got to pop them off and then you have to wipe it again and so on and so forth but uh, I, I quite like these compounds and I think I've, I've got I've got them for a specific job and uh, I think they're going to do that job uh, so uh, so there you go that is it nice very quick review of those Tamiya compounds personally I think they're worth the money and if you do do a lot of aircraft then I think you, you have to get these you know because we all know what the, the, a lot of the cockpits are a letdown for the glass is a letdown for a lot of models anyway that is the Tamiya polishing compound the finished fine of course and the three um, magic cloths that come with it I can't remember what they're called unfortunately I did another review and tore off this and uh, uh, I lost the review on the camera so um, but uh, but they are the Tamiya actual compound cloths so you can buy them as that so uh, so there you go thanks a lot